Victory over King Stephen at Lincoln gave Matilda the upper hand in her fight for the English That crown. neck, though. But in the years that followed, fragile loyalties shifted, and under threat of capture, Matilda was forced to retreat. <laughs> she was like, As that her real life. In England came under attack from the king's army. It fell to her son Henry to keep Matilda's claim to the throne alive. Jeez, everyone's called Henry. I know they use the same name a lot. Hence, you know, like Henry VIII and all that kind of stuff, but damn. The Siege of Wailingford. Matilda and Stephen's battle for the crown would all come down to Wailingford. If Matilda's army could hold the castle, she could restore her claim to the throne. So she's at another castle, the princess. Inside the strong stone walls of the castle at Wallingford, Matilda's men held firm against a brutal siege by forces loyal to King Stephen. King right. Stephen's army had constructed a fortified perimeter outside the castle, trapping Matilda's men inside. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son, Henry. Her forces needed to hold the walls until they arrived. Build a wall. Oh, it's always hard difficulty. That's what I'm playing on. So you can get the mangonels from this. I just need a bit of gold and then I can start pumping out mangonels from here. to claim Wallingford, King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. I get my longbowman at the top if I can. <laughs> On me way. I think it costs you to cancel, does it? In fact, I don't even know if you can cancel, can you? What need is be on board? Oh, you cancel here. Let's get the gold, that's the most important thing. Gate just so I can come through this way. So far, so good. Send the knights to get rid of that annoying siege, dude. Hestas, 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 Hestas,
I'm not sure the archers can miss or not. Let's increase the uh, resources that I'm getting from everything. So we need gold for that as well. Gold! I've got tons of dudes on gold. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford. King Stephen's forces launched another attack. Don't let them build the battering rams. Interrupt that. More attacks coming in. I'll have to pull these back in a moment. Let's lock that gate for now. Uh -huh. Battering ram has been stopped. Matilda's forces repelled the attack and held the castle. I thought I knocked this. How did they just... Oh, because they went high above, so they can come underneath. Okay. Let's get some siege workshops. Actually sniping my farms. Mangano. Oh no, they're sniping my mangano. I reckon Mr. Mangano will reckon good. Quality upgrades as well. Quality content. Come in, Annie. Oh, 
Journey ready. You can well destroy that then. And then maybe you can. Matilda's forces received word that Henry's troops were getting closer to Wallingford. Soon the combined numbers of the two armies could tip the scales in their favor. Every time that she says Matilda, it makes me think of, um, you know, Robot Wars in England. There was a robot called Matilda. It looked like a, a Triceratops kind of thing. That reminds me of that. <laughs> Here he comes to see the day. At last, Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner, the two armies were ready to engage. Yeah, take your sweet time. Those pesky knights are going to destroy all my expensive mangroves in a moment. So I have to go pull them back. Bloody pesky knights. No, 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 no. I thought you were running back. Yeah, maybe I just ignore everything and just go kill the um, the towers. Henry and Matilda's forces struck out at the besieging army, weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter. King Stephen's forces breached the wall and pushed into Wallingford. Matilda's men needed to repel the enemy before the castle fell and their cause If they're trapped though, they won't be able to get out very easily. So gotta, you can actually get like body blocks in this. The enemy line wavered as Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army, clearing another section of the blockade. Oh shit. When did they get in my base so heavily like that? What the fuck? Oh, oh this, is, this level is so rigged. Let me just load that bit. Because it just went really wrong after that. Quick save. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I do. I completely forgot about the, sea, uh, the um, siege round, dudes. Right, so where were we? Got a bunch of dudes, so we just go build a lumber mill there. We pull these guys back before they suicide. Back over here, and then it goes to hell on this side. I'm just gonna build whatever the heck I can build right now. Right, right, right. 
This is where they run you over. A little bit heavily. Reinforcements are coming. Save the mangonels. Save the mangonels. Stop hurting my mangonels, dude. Oh. Right, so. Where's my barracks? Is it's not the most comfortable spot to build in. Yeah, I don't think you can get trebuchets in this level, but you think you might be able to with the uh, intro video. Funny thing is you beat them and then they just come back with like an army that's exactly the same size straight away afterwards. Can you repair that? It just still has that symbol above it. Shouldn't have any problems soon getting an actual big army up, or at least a lot of infantry units up, because I am just creating a billion barracks, because it takes so long to get units. My workers keep going AFK. Like, build everything. I think it's a bit hard to tell. It doesn't help with the fog, to be honest, but it's a bit hard to tell sometimes which buildings are which. They kind of just all blur into one another. So I can't quite so easily tell my barracks units and my archery units and that kind of stuff. I just killed that unit, and now there's exactly another unit like the same bloody size. Tell sometimes if actual units are actually being built or not, even though it says it is. Get them, boys! They actually do pretty good damage for trash units. 14 damage is better than my, my longbowmen. Just gotta be a bit careful here, I don't want to antagonize the beasts. 
Matilda's forces held firm. Oh, they are they are coming. That's what I was worried about. Because they're gonna aggro eventually with my workers. I wonder if I can take them with my workers. Probably not, to be honest. Back those ones off. Bring these ones over here. I don't think there's any more upgrades I can do. That's a nice expensive units to get to kill very easily with a bunch of units like that. And then run. Yeah, I think I'll lose my position here. Streaming for a couple of hours or so, and then we'll add on the time that's left over to the next day and so forth. These guys don't do anything. Just killed. No custom maps in War in uh, Age of Empires 4. Another big fucking army now to fight here. I need more barracks. They're just still not building anywhere near quickly enough. There's the space for it though. Let's save this area. Ready? No excuse. Get those bloody barracks up. And then build more on top of those. Don't stop building barracks. I've just got to find a way to outnumber them, basically. Because <laughs> they just easily outnumber me all the time. Right, 20 barracks. I want to see freaking so many units coming out all the time. Never stopping. I kind of had these being built. 
So let's finish those and carry on getting some more of those so I can take out the actual structures. But I still need the units to actually stop myself from dying. Because you can't really um, out-tech the computer. Battering rams can be built by infantry, though. They don't have to come from a siege workshop. I'm actually starting to get control, I think. But I shouldn't say that, because before you know it, it's all going to fall apart again. My wall extension of truth. These ones look a bit like workers. They actually are workers, that's why. <laughs> it's extended. That's a trade post, is it? Oh, all right. All right, I'm going to send these bad boys. Oh, I keep putting a hockey, and five is the hockey I like for like buildings, so I've got to be careful with that. I don't know if they got any units still camping here or not. Yeah, they do. Alright, so if you send that guy over here, and then these guys... I'm going there. They do kill it quite quickly, so i got to be... Just keep the attention of those ones. And then these guys come in. And sacrifice like one ram or something. It's down. Move over to the next one. The enemy line wavered as Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army, clearing another section. Of the she makes out as though it's so easy. I'll just keep these guys over here for now because I ain't got enough to get the job done. Oh shit. <laughs> they got units over here as well. 
<laughs> Is there nowhere safe? Just body scout there. That's a lot of uh, trash units. It's crazy. I wonder what the population is the enemy computer. This level is probably the hardest by far. Because it, I can't really out tech the computer very easily. I can't use stuff to manipulate them too much, apart from the battering rounds. But you know they're getting killed, as you can see. I'm trying. I actually need food supply for it, so that's the problem. Yeah. Let's go suicide a bunch of units then and start building. Can I win? Debatable. The baby ball. Well, I can probably win if I just get enough tr uh, of these battering rams and just take the computer out in one go now. I actually run out of stone as well. These damn battering rounds finished though. How do I keep ending up with these scout units? Who's building these scout units? <laughs> I must be building it, but I've I've taken I've only got barracks on my hockey. And they don't like those battering rounds. That one's taken a bucket load of damage already. Just send these bad boys in there. Fuck it. That will have to do. It's still shocking how slow it is to build the units. Every chance. 
Imagine I'm in space. And then there were seven. I need a better spot to build. It's a lot of screaming. I think they've overrun me on that side. I don't know how they keep doing it, but they keep like massing more units than I can possibly even c compete with. Even when I've got like nothing but units spamming out. Should get the uh, man at arms or something. That will save me some lumber for the battering rams. Right, I finally have some. From. Off you go. Go win the day. Yes, there were some generous gifters of subs indeed. Man, this level high. What more do you want from me, you pesky lover? I won't be comfortable until I got like a whole bunch more of those. It's the most reasonable way to do it, Ignis, I think. There's not much point in me streaming if I feel like a zombie, is there? It would be a very entertaining streams. God damn. Just... Where's the space? Right. We've got 12 of those now, and we're still building more. We're at food cap, so that's good. So let's. Oh, they get stuck on the um, towers quite often. Let's send in the lads. I wonder if I can destroy these, and then the AI are going to see me. They're going to send the units to go round there. And by the time the units go round there, I got bypass here. That's what I think might happen. By the way, let's give this a go. It's not even that many units guarding that one. Yeah, the, the AI is coming round, so I'm hoping I can just destroy these and go straight for them. 
There we go. Almost got it. Although they're killing my stuff. Oh my god, I think I'm going to get killed before I can get that. <laughs> so you think this level is that easy that you just do that, but even then, they still find a way to deny you at the last second. Jesus. What a ridiculous level. Oh, does it just burn? Burn to the ground? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Old school. Hey. <laughs> Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the castle's perimeter. Oh, are you kidding me? How have they got anything left? Some quality man of arms. Imagine if I lose to this. So you do, oh my fucking god, like you do all of that and then they still just like overwhelm you. This is ridiculous. Did they actually, like, test these campaign levels on hard difficulty? Because I'm not sure if they did. go through all of that and then you still lose. The AI cheats so bloody hard, like there's no way. How is it affording that much? Like where's the catch? Look, these units are doing fucking 30 damage. This is why as well. 30 damage? I guess that's 30 damage to buildings. But they like crossbow when they're doing a pack and a punch and all that 23. These units are expensive, they're like 500 gold and stuff like that. I don't know. Can I even beat this one level? Because I'm thinking, even if I load back one of those saves, how am I going to have enough units to fight versus all of that? I need to have like an inf uh, like a whole bunch of towers and all that to sort of like hold, like have one spot where there's like a keep and it just shoots. I don't know, Dark Meg. I don't know the campaigns too well to judge on that. I don't even see how I can do this. Like, I legit don't even get it. But I have, like, no stone. I can transfer wood into gold and gold into stone. That's... 
The thing is, is the base is kind of clunky. It's it's not. I didn't build the base. I've been given this AI base, so I I I could think about putting like keeps and stuff like that, and I'd position them somewhat. But I've got a whole bunch of buildings, like a billion barracks, in the way because the units don't seem to build at all. I don't want to kill the outposts. I want to leave one alive. Because this killing the outpost makes the entire army like fight you. So we need to sort of damage that one or something, but not kill it. And then meanwhile, carry on sort of just defending versus this. So I can get control, build the stone walls again. So damage that. Don't kill that. Right, that'll do. Leave that, so, and then just destroy this. So, I've got easy access to it when I want to destroy it, sort of thing. That'll do. That's not on fire, so that shouldn't die. <sighs> and then I've got to sort of get control of the situation, which isn't easy to do, because the computer's always, 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 always attacking me. Never fucking stops. And then I gotta build like. So when you build towers, for example, here, can they attack on the outside? Arr, and then. Arr. So many trashed buildings. Like, I could build a bunch of keeps here. It's a thousand stone, though, to build a keep. But I could build, like, a stack of keeps here. Don't think you can build palisades. You can't bridge that because it's too close to like that and that. Uh. Oh, fine, I'll just do that then. going to be a bit stubborn here because it won't... Uh, there we go. I can do that. Uh, 
Yet if the swing can keep on a stand, we have a stand as bare men. They are gone to haste this good folk. They can build it that for day. I'm almost cutting away round to the uh, trading post at the back here. Just keep cutting there, and I'll get loads of gold. I can get a shit ton of gold actually if I do that. I said they don't have any units. Like I, all the way here, and then I can have my units. Although I need to build some sort of blockade to stop my unit from going straight back this way. What are they doing? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Getting, just kill the Magnals, they're not even doing anything. Right, what happened here? Why did that not build? That was supposed to build, now that hasn't, and same with that one. Uh, and I can't sort of put anything there, can I? Choke points. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. Just let me bloody... Oh, you're so stubborn. I hate that I have to hold down delete to destroy this. And it won't even let me delete that. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's been as difficult as it can be. So what's this? Is there something there or not? Is there a quick way to delete, like uh, the option? Like why can't you just press Dell and it just instantly deletes it? Like, why do I have to hold it down for like a second for every single one thing that I want to delete? Because that's so annoying. Can anyone look that up for me and see if uh, there's an answer? Age of Empires 4, quick delete. Oh yeah, but who cares about accidentally deleting shit? Like, have that have that as an option then, if there's noobs that sort of accidentally delete shit. Uh, well, yeah. At least we're still getting bucket loads of resources. Heck, I could actually build mangonels. That would help me actually fight that army that comes with that much gold. Okay, now I feel like I'm in a place where I'm actually getting an op option to to counterplay the computer a little bit. Do not destroy those trees. Those are protecting you. Right, I managed to build this, so let's get the thingamajigs. Just get those in place, it makes it easier. Can't find shit. Yeah, it's, 
I think there's a lot of quality of life things that could be in this game that they kind of missed out on, which is a shame. Because, uh, yeah, quality of life stuff's pretty good, yo. Let's get rid of any buildings that I don't bloody want. I'm going to get rid of that marketplace and build another one over here. Because that can go back and forth between this spot. Stop chopping those trees, you numpties. The units go through the gate to go up onto the wall. Strats. And then we can build our commute. Fa la la. <laughs> Look at these walls. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four. So we got four wall deep. Four wall thick. I just gotta like repeat the um, repair those. Let's get a bunch of these guys. And then I'm building up mangonels over time to fight versus the big army that will come. Obviously, there'll be a food supply, but we can get the mangonels. Like about 10 of those or something, and that will help me a lot more versus that gigantic army. And if the gigantic army's got to go through all of this and the mangonels can hit it, then I should be fine. It's just I couldn't possibly handle it. Well, I could barely handle what's coming at me, but I found I've got a bit better. And I'm working stuff out. We're getting our little trade dudes. Where are they? Where's my trade dudes? I swear they're just making up half the shit they say. Anyway, I need to keep building my army because it gets killed very quickly and easily. So I need an army that constantly keeps coming back out to fight this one. And then we can continue building up that wall, that kind of thing. That never got built. Who didn't build that? Who's not doing their job? I'm not sure that's actually building it when I right click on that thing. That like blueprint. Yellow print. Got ten mangonels, that's badass. We've almost chopped through the uh, sneaky tree. Uh, let's get one horse. That's if I've even still got stables anywhere. I have no idea. Build a stables if you need to here. How do? Did they finish? No, they don't really build. Ah, oh, there we go. Are they building it? Yeah, they are. They just had to kind of go up here to come around to go there. Right. Almost choppered. All of this. Choppered that good, didn't we? We choppered that good. I don't know there's an auto repair option either. That would be really cool. So, if we... 
set a home market. Target market or dock you control. Do I control that? Is that even a market? I don't know. Where's my horsey? Trade posts, yeah. Send traders or trade ships to trade with this building to generate resources. Be handy if that was still even quicker. I actually seem to be fighting back now. <laughs> Maybe the computer really did run out of resources. Because normally it just infinitely kept throwing stuff at me. Oh, there they are. Bastards. They, they, they learned about my cotton. I'm going to have to um, trash all of that. And then get that wall up. Sometimes you can't get them off. It's like when you get like a bit of sticky paper or something stuck in your hand, so you can't get it off. Like you can't get the workers off you. Alright. You boys ready? To claim that market? Get over there. We got five of those. Six of them. So six of those going back and forth should bring in a chunk of cash. Don't know how much they bring. I think it's. Uh, hang on a second. Orders the trader or trade ship to begin trading with a trade post or another market or dock and owned by another player. Traders and trade ships make trips between the trade target and their home market or dock. Each time they return to their home market or dock, the trader or trade ship deposits an amount of gold based on the difference or the distance between the two buildings. That's cool. I think the good thing about the hard difficulty is it literally is hard. Like, you actually do. <laughs> The maps are so difficult that you actually have to sort of... It's brutal, do you know what I mean? But it gives you a lot of replayability, or at least uh, learning how to beat it. I'm just going to carry on just attack moving towards the left here, and clear things up. I'm going to come back and watch those guys in a moment, see how much juicy gold they bring in. Because they are bloody slow, I don't know if you can speed them up or not. Where are they? Where are they? Let's get up to 4,000, 5,000 gold, maybe. There you go, 5,061. Let's see how much they bring in. Actually, what I can do is buy that, and then do that a couple more times. 5,013 gold. Here it comes, lads. Golds are coming. I can't believe I'm actually like killing them now, like they've got nothing left. Oh, they're fucking sending units from off the screen, that's why they keep coming out of nowhere. Right. I'll have to do something about that. What? That's stubborn, man. I thought they were going to bring in like 100 gold each, and I thought that would be stingy from that distance. They're only bringing in 39. 39 gold for all of that. Doesn't seem that good, does it? Yeah, look at this. They just fucking come out of nowhere. 
All right, I have to suicide all of those. Yeah, they just keep... So I can't really marketplace anyway. Better than nothing. True, but... Is it? <laughs> so they've got a whole bunch of places where they just keep sending units. I can tell now. Where's my horses? Which one of you has horses? I built a horsey thingy. No. See, these traders are going to get wrecked. Well, they should get wrecked, but they're not getting attacked, actually. Looking good though. My infrastructure. Oh no, now they're going this way. And now they're definitely getting killed. That's why I built the wall, to stop them from doing derpy shite like that. I think it would be good if you could program the AI to sort of go a specific route. Do you know what I mean? For its uh, marketplace. Because it's going to do a derpy thing like that. Right, no need to shout. Still just going on now. I do need to get those back though, because I've run out of the infantry troops that keep them alive. Right, back off now, boys. This is a perfectly fair and normal level. I mean, that's still... Well, I can't do a marketplace, really, because they come through here. If I chopped all the trees here and built a marketplace there, it could go back and forth. Or if I just chopped the trees here and then did a marketplace between those two spots. I don't know if you can attack trees with mangonels and stuff like that, can you? Kill the trees, as far as I know. Shot, 
good game. Mangonels didn't even try. Right, let's start working on our keeps. Play for keeps. There's still not much space to work with, to be honest, but what can you do? The strats. The lengths I have to go to. Shiny keep. It's not great, huh? Scouting with like one horsey, and there's like 50 units there. Yeah, there's a chest of gold there. Just casually, like 50 units just chilling. Because why not? Trash through four layers of wolves. I'm not messing around. What's this yellowy kind of like flames from logs? It's a defense buff. All oh, right. So it's research then. Cool. Uh, horsey. We're we're slowly um breaking the the game. I mean, the one good thing about this level is I found out ways to play it. Look at that. I'm not destroying the trees here, so the AI can't get there. And we got like a little sneaky back post. And we will be able to destroy the trees here and get access to that eventually. If I can get workers out there. I'm trying to get more workers out there. But I've still got these siege rams just chilling here. Yeah! Send those back so they can repair. Food seems pretty good. Oh, 
Oh shit, not again. I just want to scout. Just let me look. What's wrong with you? Let me take a look. A little sneak peek. Well, I think the AI's got triggers to keep sending units the moment it goes underneath a certain population cap. So then it will get like 50 units to just spawn from there, making its way over to here. And then if I kill those, then another 50 will come from that angle, whatever. But they're always coming from this angle, so it's told to come from the nearest spot of where, wherever you're attacking. So this is his base. What if I went here and destroyed his base before he can actually attack? Oh shit, I actually need to build units. Where are they all back from? I'm gonna trash my building. Got a lot of hard work into that. Oh, they sniped my scout. Could be another 40 minutes. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that long, but pretty brutal, man. The lengths you have to go to, or at least I feel I, I could maybe do something different that might actually make my life a lot easier. But this is working, whether I like it or not. So I'm gonna keep it up. More workers working away. I have no idea what have we got here. Got like 44. About 50 probably. So as soon as you kill those units, like just another wave of them come. It's just like they, they, there's no cost whatsoever. There's no punishment. I like being able to select all the units and then you left control, left mouse click, and then you can sort of like take the workers away from all of the units whilst making the units attack move over there. Alrighty, let's get another castle, another few keeps. Any more keeps in chat? I've got to build an army though to make sure I don't run out. No, of course not, Fred. Why does everyone keep asking me that? And I keep answering. But they keep asking. They never stop. Let us read and stack her. Where's my trash? I got rid of my trash traders, didn't I? They just all suicided, basically. So I've got to rebuild those trash traders. Arcanet Dollar, Hirende Dina. Arcanet, I think Felix. We are attacking our. Oh, Spedder! We have such a game. Spedder! Spedder! Good thing they send a lot of horses at me because my spearmen aren't so trash then. Uh, 
I will scout. You can't stop me. I got a whole group of them because some of them might get killed. So it's just easier to have a group of them, to be honest. Even though I could separate them. Oh shit. Just narrowly made it through there. Oh okay. And that's why we have a group of them. So that one of them survives. Saddled up and It's for Every charm and ten dead. I think they lister. Don't have any dudes getting really lumber anymore. They're really slow with the lumber. Shit. I wanted to get as much information as I could, but then pull back as soon as I get attacked, but getting attacked before I can even see him. It's slowed down a bit now. I need more on wood. I can't really get workers over there because look, a whole fucking group of dudes are turned up, turning up again. Oh, they killed my trader dudes. XD. Alright. I'm gonna try to sneak these over here. Let's sneak them onto that side. So we go like that. To that. To that. And then over to here. Then we can win the game. This has got to be the last level of the entire campaign, right? I thought the other one was. If it's not, then that's great. We'll keep going. But... Right, so we've beaten these back. We're going to get these guys in lumber. We're going to get our trade. Any traders in chat? Oh god, look at that! This is completely empty a second ago. The AI is so over-rigged. This is completely empty a split second ago. And then they just hit you with like 50 units immediately. It's not much of a sort of compromise. Workers as well. I'm gonna put them there. All right, so that's good. We've got what we need there. Let's trash that. 
because I don't want to take too much lumber from this spot. I don't want anything here, really, other than just the market. I'm a bit worried that... Yeah. They won't go back and forth properly. We'll see. And then I can build, I don't know, lumber here or something. And work my way up there. Or you can still keep going back up there. But either way. Right. Off you go. It's almost the trick is not to kill all of their units or something, at least one alive, so they don't just send like an instant reinforcement of all of their units again. I don't think you can beat this shit. Oh, they found it! It's a slaughter. So you can't build that close. God damn. The AI cheats like crazy. Yeah. How much gold? Zero gold! Fuck off! You could give me one gold at least. Why are you giving me zero? This is so ridiculous. I got like nothing on London anymore. Like all my workers are dead. I might have to go back to a save for a while, but right, you guys go here, go here, go here, chop. So I have some consistent amount of lumber coming in, because at the moment I got jack shoot. build another I'll have to just keep building them like ever so slightly. I'll have to build another lumber thing here and destroy this. As long as even if I just get one gold that's more than nothing. I need to work out what the minimum distance is to get one gold. So that's the developer team. Well it's just blocked by these two units and I can't work out how to grab those units or land there. I guess for balance reasons you can't build town halls and that might be good for multiplayer because it would get quite complicated if you could but I do miss having town halls being able to be built so I can just spam out workers way quicker get my economy going. I don't have either of the resources here. Didn't need to tie that. <laughs> At least... Oh, no! They spotted my trading unit, so I can't even... Aren't they? So they have that much vision, do they? I can't think how I can sneak a marketplace nearby when they're not going to trash it. I mean, I'm learning, because this is interesting. I want to know how I can manipulate that, but it's coming at a mighty cost to learn. So it seems impossible, because even if I build structures here, right? Maybe if I built, like, walls here or something, they'll bypass, and the AI... Like, I need to move them, like, along the road. I need them to go like this way, and not that close, and then they won't see the trade. Oh, fuck! 
Who's this? What are they doing there? There's another base. somewhere where I can sneak sneak destroy some trees or something. Come on boys. We can drift off. I don't think there's any air units. Even if I partially build that, that might be enough. Because they won't necessarily destroy it. No, come on, this is okay. Fuck. See they to work. Tolkis. Now now each fort net in this. Tack up for the need. What need it? All head on. What on the way? Pay off yard to have holes kicked on. If you'll go and block the wood. Getting so much playability from just this one map. I was sending those to distract. Maybe I can go build it now. Hopefully the trebuchet thingy isn't there. So here we go. So we build like partially. Yeah, that'll do. And then they should go this way. And hopefully not see the units going back and forth there. But there's no guarantee of that. I will work it out. You can't stop me. I will suss out the key. Well, they got some strong units there that time. Resources. I am infinite. You're trying to destroy me. I don't think it costs you resources to repair, which is nice. the hero unit she is. Just don't get sniped by like 50 units that just pop out of nowhere. And we'll be fine. Fuck. 50 units popping out of nowhere. God damn, is there like ever a moment where there isn't 50 units there? It's ridiculous. Just casually chilling out. Get 
this week at Toonfall. She takes a fair and every chance. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, bro. <laughs> Maybe use the rams for a back door on the enemy base to the right. Yeah, not a bad idea. You just need a lot of time to get like 10,000 lumber or something and build like 50 rams and then send them all in at one time to destroy. We're not quite there yet though. We've got to rebuild. That was like the toughest I've had to fight for a while. But we've recovered. It came at quite a cost, basically, trying to work out this market. And I'm still determined to work it out. And I still want to get, like, a few walls here going down this way to make them... Just to sort of push them more over here. Because I think that's how the AI is going to behave. And we need to get more keeps so that when they do keep breaking through... I've got, like, six castles that can defend for free sort of thing. Every charge and ten death. Should probably get a monastery just to heal or something. I still have never done that. You can't click on this though to bring you to their location, which is a shame. That'd be really helpful. Because I don't know which ones those are. Be sure nice if I could build somewhere. I'll have to do. He's overwhelmed me again already. That's like a hundred food. Those aren't even supposed to be there. But that's part of my whole army. Unlimited farming. I kind of want to redo all of the farms as well, just OCD, place them more efficiently. Because I've got such limited space. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? So we build like free markets away or something. That'd be one way to look at it. What if I can sneak a unit or two up there? I think that might push them 
all the way around now. I'll probably need a scout to see if they're definitely being pushed. Like I want them to come here and then like curve around here so they're so far away from spotting this potentially. So now I can get free gold. Which will definitely save me quite a bit in the long run. Tricks of the trade. So we destroy this piece of shit. Now, that's one, two, three, almost three. Let's do almost three. Hey, Sean, thank you very much there for the seven gifted subs. Very, very generous. Thank you very much, kind sir, indeed. Oh my goodness, all these workers. So grab the workers here. Ah! Gonna run out of trees? Okay, so that's built. Now let's... Well, we're not at 100 food or whatever. Thank you very, very much. Sir. I'm going to try to get a trader in the moment. I should lose some units. I would think, anyway. Meanwhile, we can sell some of that ton of lumber that we've been getting. Which is nice. So I don't have to just keep selling gold. Maybe you don't. Bad, is it? Now we can get another castle. Mandatum. Where's my priesty boys? So I can get some free healing. And then we can carry on trying to rebuild this. The units are proper spazzing out over there. I don't know what they're doing. What are you doing? Is there like one archer that's making them all go nuts? No, I stopped playing Warcraft 3, Jason. Right, how are we doing on the trader? Have we got the uh, thingamajig? So how many is this? This is one. It's like two and two point six six or something. It says it's four hexagons, eight hexagons, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So eleven. Fucking oh, fuck, bro. this one guy is like impossible to hit. It's like a wisp on the wood on a last refuge. You can't get him. I think he's over here. So if you go up here. You might be able to reach him or something. Come here. And go up that way. And then maybe you can... No? Still? Alright. Fine. Fuck it. Here we go. This is it. In comes the sweet, sweet goal. I think it's going to be zero again. What? What are you... I, I didn't see anything on the trader when I looked. I don't see anything. How are you seeing it? I can see the two gold go up there. But I'm not seeing any number near the trader. Where are you seeing to go? You just seeing it in the stats then. You're not actually seeing it like Oh, I see the two gold above the market, not the trader. Right, right, right. I'm with you now. Cuz I'm looking I'm looking intensely here and I'm seeing nothing. Uh How much do these only cost one food? Cuz if they do, then that's pretty good. I can kill off a bunch of these workers now. Genocide. This has been a very brutal level. <laughs> Pop 
population keeps getting reached. I've got to cancel everything. Any traders in chat? I'm doing it the extremely hard way. No shit. But at the end of the day, it's all I fucking know right now, and it's working. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to change that, to be honest. I don't care. I should have beaten this, like, a while back, but then the computer attacked me with, like, 600 population of units. And I'm like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to kill that? So now I'm going to, like, over-prepare for it. Overkill it completely. Get that sweet, sweet gold. Yeah, I know, but as soon as I kill the outpost, then they attack me with like 600 food a unit. So that's what happened. So I just basically need to build like six keeps, a whole bunch of towers behind these walls, that kind of thing. Or in front. I don't know how they work properly. I still don't know. Oh no, this buggy spot. And I can't delete the stone wall. God, what are you doing? Right, I'm gonna lock that gate. So I think my strategy worked. Right? That's not much vision, actually, is it? I think the scout is actually... You don't get it. A veteran horseman doesn't count as a scout. <laughs> the gold must flow. Does the market have, like, unlimited gold? I'd hesitate that it, I'd say that it probably takes about 20 seconds, like 10 seconds to get there and 10 seconds to get back for two gold. So it's one gold per 10 seconds, basically. So if I had 10 of them, it's one gold a second kind of thing. AKA not worth it at all. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not worth it. Because I might make more, even just getting, selling from the marketplace. But it's... I don't have to put too much effort into it. Anyone who's actually still been here since I started this level. Alright, I lost my guy that was scouting here. Hey, that's because I need the proper scout. And the proper scout is not a unit that I have access to at the moment. So. Yep. How long has it been? Well, it's been definitely more than one hour, 40 minutes, because I've had to reload a couple of times and stuff like that. I think I've got too many worker units now, because my armies don't even seem that big. I guess we'll just do nothing but farms. So, one, two, three. I can only fit a couple of farm, a few farms per meal because of the...
in an arm. Build ending that Rita Noon. Building dot. Seek to Hestes. Look at all the gold. It's flowing. Overflowing with gold. I've got my scout unit now. I'm going to call him Barry. And he's going to come up the top here to see if they are doing exactly what I think. They must be because they're not attacking us anymore. So uh, my genius idea of flanking on the next side. of all the farms. Yeah, yeah. What day did we on over there? What we wait? Parking a dollar. It killed Bill Day that for me. It killed Bill Day that for me. Celia built it. Bill then day that free to noon. God sweet could it be made. <laughs> it's actually got a fuck ton of units there. I'll need to do something about that. with not having people on wood is I've got to then buy wood. So I do need to have some wood. But I need like a safe spot to wood. There's not many safe spots to wood left to be honest. I haven't touched multiplayer yet. Do I have the burning oil upgrade? Yeah I do. Got that for castles. I upgraded everything, I think. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh God, I may as well just sneak back up here and hope. I'm worried about destroying those trees, though. I need, like, a safe spot. There should be an army there, though. Kill these workers. Yeah, I can see them. I don't know. They look like they were going through the path there. I'll get my secret Mangano army. Oh my god! Make Britain great again. Yeah, I think the AI is kind of broken. It's not attacking anymore. This could be a good time to get like unlimited amounts of lumber or something. And then build like 
600 siege rams and just send them all into computer's base and then have them get killed in two seconds because the computer still has like 800 population in that area. I'm going to try to kill off all the units and stuff like that over here so I can secure this for like lumber or something. This, is it stacking units though? Because if it is, it's going to hit me really hard when it does. Because it's got eight units in each of those. And then there's the knights on the ground and the siege vehicles. Don't hit the building now, Clarence. Whatever you do, don't set that on fire. Oh, they're attacking now on the right hand side, I think. Since I sent my men over there. No, they're not. They're just stacking up. It's taking up quite a presence actually on the mini map now. Are they actually blocking each other now? There's that many of them. It's making quite a lot of cash. That's a hundred. That's a hundred a minute now. We're up to a hundred a minute, which isn't bad. They actually managed to beat me off over here. Oh no! Look how much food I got. Holy shit! Once you start putting those farms down, the food is just really flowing. So I need a quicker way to... level is just ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this. Probably you've never seen anything like this either. Well, I can always do a test save to destroy the tower potentially. That's if I can, to be honest. I need to build like more siege vehicles actually with um, some spare infantry, and that's going to take about a minute, I think. They take about a minute to build. So if you take these guys, come over here, and build one, two, three, four, five, that kind of thing. It's a shame I can't, again, I don't think you can have auto repair. just trash the towers so easy. I think the towers are kind of bad. They seem to get killed so easy. Oh, 
shit, here we go. Tapaz, thank you very much there for the sub. Yep, I got the mangonels, you're right. I've got to bring them in in a second. The big boy mangonels I've been stacking up over time. Quality units in case everything else fails. I've got some high quality content units. I think they do build it quicker, there's more of them. What a mess. What a mess. Dawson. I did it. I won. I won the level. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the castle's perimeter. Doesn't look like it. Feels like I'm the one that's got overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. I used to have a bunch of workers come over here and build barracks, but they sort of gave up on that idea, I suppose. Go boys! Should be able to destroy that, no problem, to be honest. But I'm not even sure they're fucking attacking. I've only got six of them left. So I don't know how they got themselves killed so easily. Four of them left. Get them, boys. I've actually almost defeated the final attack wave. This is it, Luigi. Stand no chance against a professional like me. Yeah. 
take them out. It's taking one damage per hit. It's a mountain giant. Looks like my idea to get trading over at this place was a genius idea. Look at all the gold that flows. Don't look at that. Just look at that. So where's the remaining forces? Uh, is it like the two crossbowmen over here or something? You're holding out on me. Should we get some quality units, like knights or something now? So I can chase them down. Madness is over! The joint forces of Matilda and Henry had thwarted King Stephen's siege of the strategic castle at Wallingford. After over a decade of conflict, Matilda's claim to the throne was still alive. Easy game. I hope Matilda's happy. Everything I did for her. If I could have finished an hour ago, I would have, but I didn't, did I? <laughs> the Ang... Evain Empire. When King Stephen died, Matilda's son, Henry, of course it's Henry, ascended the throne of England. He became the first king to rule over what is known now as the Angevin Empire. Henry was an active and ambitious ruler, determined to expand and protect the heart of his empire, he personally travelled the extents of his lands, making deals, crushing rebellions, and annexing new territory. Henry acted so swiftly and with such audacity that the King of France described him as seeming rather to fly than to go by horse or ship. But just as Henry's ancestors had struggled to maintain their power, so the Angevin kings would rule for only two more generations before the empire fractured, once again leading England to war 